giant bull just <laughs> came right in smelled what I'm doing here and heard me again. wow massive Here, girl, bring it here. Bring it here, folks. Mind in my hand. Good girl. Come on in, folks. Good girl. <laughs> Good. Did you get it?
You're spoiled. You're a little spoiled there, dog. Don't you think? You're spoiled? Up. <laughs> You're funny, Kelly. You going to your bed? <laughs> Talking to the camera?
that's not for you. Ooh.
wood was inside because I was drawing it out, which was kind of a bit in the way.
<laughs> what do you have, Callie? You want me to throw that for you again? Out of there, please. I finally feel like after 13 years of fighting back to get completely back on our feet from our major financial blow at um, the end of 2010 but beginning of 2011 so when we shut the business down and I personally guaranteed $750,000 of that debt that company debt so that's where really our self-reliance my self-reliance um, began the mindset to get back to what I had started when I was a kid a teenager and in my early 20s when I wanted to live in a cabin in the woods and live uh, as independently and as cheaply as possible. So finally kind of achieving that goal, 
but also the goal that uh, we set 13 years ago to never be dependent on the system and and in debt and vulnerable to any kind of upset um, or downturn in the economy so like i said i finally feel like this is the year we grew and raised and foraged and hunted and fished at least enough calories for my wife and i and probably enough for our daughters as well i haven't calculated it yet but this is the first time in my life that I filled all my big game tags, which was two deer, moose, bear, and two turkey. And also was able to fill my wife's tag with her present. Um, so that was three deer and the moose and the, and the bear. And also significant was that the turkey, bear, and one of the deer came from the Gavin property itself. And as you probably noticed, in, even in this video, the, the uh, trail camera footage of the moose. And if you watched um, the videos on Patreon, you'd know that that buck target that you could see in the background when I was um, flushing the deer hide, that was <laughs> destroyed by a bull moose last week. Bull moose came in and broke the legs off of it. So lots of moose around here as well. So that's kind of a survival food. I, I can't harvest them without a tag which is very hard to get and I'll, I'll probably get our family will probably get a couple in my lifetime so the point being that there is enough game around to provide all of our meat uh, there's enough fish in all of the lakes of different species and different um, abundance of different species in different lakes and rivers that uh, we could live off of that pretty substantially without depleting the resource um, got the two garden areas that are uh, very uh, productive now it's been a struggle over the last four years to build that soil in both sections I feel like we're there now the fruit trees just started to produce last year just minimally but this will be the year that they or next year 2024 summer will be highly productive our berry bushes are doing extremely well uh, all the hazelnuts I've planted will be at that point next year where they'll start producing um, we've found more and more uh, mushroom areas throughout the woods um, on both properties so we can get enough mushrooms on top of the shiitake mushrooms that are finally fruiting on the uh, logs that i inoculated a couple years ago uh, what else the maple sugar bush is, is uh, coming along it's getting more productive and i'm um, kind of extending it and, and uh, tapping additional trees each year and i've identified another probably 25 uh, maple trees that are big enough to tap as well now acorns have got um, I've found here just beyond where well you can see where I was deer hunting there's acorns there lots of oak trees there's a whole oak grove on the public land just outside of my property with tons of acorns this year so two years from now there'll be tons of acorns to forage as well um, hazelnuts like I said I've planted and I've got some other nut trees that have planted as well now so I feel like on the food front that we're secure the um, energy i feel like that with the solar systems that have been give, given over the years i've finally put together systems that i feel work for us in, in both spots um, we've got water abundant water we've got um, of course fresh air <laughs> clean air but lots of building materials so uh, with the forestry plan that i've been working on with the forester it's a lot of it's about habitat improvement but also identifying all the good saw logs and improving the forest by doing some timber management um, to free up and and uh, allow the better trees to become healthier so not only have some short-term lumber to produce and utilize either for myself or to sell the lumber or store it is probably what's likely to happen i'll store it for future just like having money in the bank basically um, but also then improving the forest so that there's more saw logs at the end of my lifetime or the, or the next generation as uh, whoever moves onto this property next. So feel really good about that. Really happy with the, um, uh, the plan for habitat um, improvement. Think about spending four years on a property, the permaculture principle of observing and then acting is what I've been able to do by being here for four years now. I think it's four years. Uh, just really have a good sense of all the property, all the land and little ecosystems on the property, what resources are there, which ones can be improved. So I've got areas uh, selected to 
to uh, improve quite dramatically pretty quickly. So I'm really happy, I'm really excited about the future of the property and really excited about the uh, future huntability of the property and its ability to produce more calories. Um, we have deer, moose and bear here now, but I know I can double the deer population by just really focusing on providing more quality cover where they can bed at night and also have forage nearby. That's what's lacking right now in the forest that's become mature, that the canopy's too dense and there's nothing growing at ground level for them to eat. Uh, and when I do that, when I thin that out, it's also going to create habitat for grouse, squirrels, um, and uh, especially hares, rabbits. So I'm excited about that. Uh, for the first time again, I've been able to put money away. Uh, thanks to YouTube. Thanks for uh, to you guys for watching my my videos, and I uh, was able to um, start investing not only in the real estate and the properties that were improving uh, for our own use, but also to put some uh, savings away in precious metals and Bitcoin. Um, so basically, real estate, Bitcoin, and precious metals is um, what we're doing with there to set up my family for the future or to help my uh, family in the future. I don't, I have low uh, living expenses. I don't care about money. I don't feel a need to uh, spend much or to accumulate much, but I do um, very aware that um, life is getting more difficult, I think, financially for the younger generations, uh, generations that are coming after me, including my daughter. So, um, you know, working very hard to, to make their lives a little bit better. So what's coming up for next year? Well, I think um, later this year, so in the next couple of weeks, I've got two more two more videos, that I, not, well, three videos that I, I really want to uh, make sure I get out by before the end of the year. One is a complete cellar tour. I've finished the uh, cellar, so I'll take you a walk around down there, show you uh, how it's built. So I'll flash back to right from the beginning, how it's all insulated and, and boarded and everything. And then uh, the systems that I've got set up down there and how the food's all stored. So I'll show you just how the, basically the root cellar, the entire basement is set up for storing food and water and uh, central location for the power, for the solar power that powers the lights here in the cabin and the freezer downstairs. So that's one video. The second video is I have some more work to do in the bathroom. So I'm hoping to get that done before Christmas. So I'll take you in there and I'll show you that. I'll finish off the bathroom and then give you a complete cabin tour because essentially it's finished. I mean, there's some staining to do on the windows. I'm replacing these two front windows that are single pane. I really like the look of those, but knew from the beginning that they probably weren't going to stay long because the single pane just frosts up too much and lets too much uh, cold air in so or warm air out. So those will be replaced. And then I've got, what? I'm hoping to get the stairs in this uh, loft done. And then future stuff like the bedroom. So there's gonna be things that aren't 100% finished, but it's finished enough that it's completely livable. So I'll show you around, give you a complete tour of the cabin. Uh, so that's one, so that's another video. And then the last one will be that uh, my daughters are coming up for Christmas here. We'll film that and hopefully, uh, I'll be able to edit that pretty quickly and get it out on Christmas Day or Christmas late in the day on Christmas maybe or maybe even Boxing Day the following day. And then next year it's basically just really improving and making the place more livable, more comfortable. So that would include the bedroom addition. That would be, uh, well I'll be finishing off the outdoor kitchen this winter so probably right after Christmas start working on that again. Uh, the little garage uh, here for firewood and the ATV and the snowmobile um, sauna, so a bathhouse. This bathroom will be fully functional. It's going to have a shower and bathtub and everything in it, but uh, it's nothing like having a sauna. And uh, what else? Improving the garden areas. Oh, and then getting into the habitat uh, improvement. I'm really excited, like I said, about that. Continuing to make the trails through the property and uh, cutting logs for lumber and for firewood. That's the other thing about storing, um, basically money in the bag to me is getting a bunch of firewood stored, cut and stored before it rots. And uh, yeah, just excited about uh, watching this place progress. So that's it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching and I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.